My name is Clint Capiello. I'm one of the pediatric surgeons at Johns Hopkins Children's Center. I also have a practice at Howard County General Hospital. Pectus excavatum is usually a child who presents as early as one or two years old or in their teenage years with what looks like a sunken in chest. Um, we see these folks um, in our Howard County office and counsel them on the timing and options for management. The chest has sort of a caved in appearance. Some children report symptoms of easy fatigue, shortness of breath, chest pain, or inability to keep up with their peers. Other children have social and developmental delay because they're embarrassed, they don't want to take their shirt off, go to the pool, get changed in a locker room. And some kids have it and their pediatrician brings it up and they don't care at all. Pectus excavatum tends to be a progressive condition. Some folks will stabilize out as they become teenagers. Most will get worse. We don't know exactly what causes this, but we know that there's a disordered growth of the cartilage that attaches your ribs to your sternum. Generally, you'll see a slow increase in the depth or asymmetry of the defect as children get older. And once they hit that teenage growth spurt, you may notice a lot more asymmetry or a worsening of a deformity. So we tend to operate on these kids who are sort of in their puberty stride, usually at around 13 to 16, and the bar will stay in for about three years. So generally, when a patient comes in with pectus excavatum, we'll do extensive counseling. The biggest question is not how the parents feel, not how the pediatricians feel, it's how the patient feels. If this is symptomatic and bothers them and they desire an operation, they'll be plugged in with one of our nurse practitioners, one of our pediatric surgeons who operates here at Johns Hopkins, and they'll be evaluated with pulmonary function test, an echocardiogram to look at their heart, and a CAT scan to evaluate the depth and degree of their deformity. Additionally, if there's any family history of connective tissue disorders, they may be seen by one of our geneticists to further delineate what sort of problem they have and how that may complicate their recovery. There's two operations that we offer for pectus excavatum. The most commonly performed procedure now is the NUS procedure. It was developed by a pediatric surgeon and is a minimally invasive approach to correcting the pectus deformity. It's an operation that may take as little as an hour, we do utilize a camera on both sides of the chest, and then we essentially insert a bar that's bent to your child's chest shape, and we brace it on the ribs, pushing the sternum out, creating a much more flat and even looking chest. We do counsel the patients that this is a painful operation. We do use multimodal analgesia, and we've also started using a cryoablation technique that actually temporarily cuts the nerve pain throughout the entirety of the chest. Patients now leave the hospital in two to three days. A recovery from a pectus excavatum operation, either the minimally invasive NUS procedure or the less commonly performed open ravage procedure, lasts about three months. You'll be in the hospital for a few days. You're going to have a graded activity program. This is done as you wean off of your pain medication, you get back to school, and you're going to see us at two weeks, a month, or six weeks, and then three months. By that three month period, if you're recovering well, your return to sports is unlimited at that point. And that will be a gradation from light aerobic activity, walking, jogging, steps, up to swimming, swinging a tennis racket, to even full contact sports. Generally, if we do the operation when you're sort of in your mid pubertal growth spurt, the bar will stand for two to three years. By the time that bar is ready to come out, you've likely completed your growth spurt and then the bar is removed usually around when you're 17 to 18. The results are excellent and permanent. For kids who do have progression, it may be that the procedure was done too early or you're not finished growing yet. So there are cases where more than one bar is necessary at the first operation and cases of recurrence. But these are generally rare. The operation for pectus does sound daunting. The older technique, known as the Ravitz, which is still performed at some centers and by some adult surgeons, does leave either a midline vertical scar or a transverse scar to access the chest cavity. The NUS procedure is done using two incisions that are hidden all the way to the side of the chest. That may extend a little bit to the front, but generally for young ladies, I hide them basically among the curvature of the breast tissue, so it's hidden by a bra afterwards. And young men, it's a lateral, obliquely oriented incision that's along the line of the ribs. 
Both tend to be out of the direct front view of the chest to minimize scarring.